Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. As you can see, I am not at my house right now. I have been in Florida this week. I'm about to film a coffee chat with Catherine Edwards, so I thought that I would hop on quickly and ask you guys a question. This is a question I actually um, proposed in our signal group i don't have any of the details quite yet this is just an idea i have now so i wanted to hop on and see what you guys thought i actually did ask this question on instagram i took a poll and i got 100 percent yeses to do this but i also wanted to ask the greater audience as well just see what you guys what you guys think about this so i know we've done a lot of successful we've done a 30-day successful shadow work challenge we've done a 60-day successful shadow work challenge i'm considering uh doing a 10-day coming up where it's just strictly yoga but I would love if you guys are interested to host with maybe some of my friends here on YouTube, like Catherine Edwards, if she's interested, Cindy, Emmy, Tamara, if we can get her to come from Australia. I would love to host like a five to seven day wellness retreat. Now, I've been thinking a lot about this because wellness retreats are a thing. I probably would host this wellness retreat most likely in the north georgia mountains either in dahlonega blue ridge or clayton i i would rather go more towards clayton um just because it's beautiful it's just gorgeous up there and um i would probably do it in the late summer 2024 early fall 2024 in my mind, I was debating between Florida and North Georgia Mountains, and I'll tell you why I think North Georgia Mountains would probably be better than Florida for this. Um, if we do this in the late summer, early fall, it's going to be incredibly hot down here. Now, I say this with all sincerity. The area that I live in is known as the Sun Belt. It is known as the Sun Belt because it is extremely hot and humid. When I was in like the late 90s, early 2000s, I can't remember the date specifically, the Irish soccer team came to Atlanta to play in a tournament. In like the first half of their first game, they all passed out from heat stroke. Um, and so I'm very well aware of that. I mean, the heat annoys me and I'm from this area. So if any of you guys coming from Europe or Canada uh, come down. I I'm thinking the North Georgia mountains will be better because it will be cooler up in the North Georgia mountains. It won't be so unbelievably hot. Um, and I, one of my best friends is from Canada. I know that people in Canada think it gets hot up there, but is nothing compared to down here in Georgia. Again, we're called the Sun Belt for a reason. And I just want to make sure that everyone's going to be safe. And if you're not used to this heat, um, being in the heat for a prolonged amount of time, I would worry that people would be affected by that, get a heat stroke or something like that. So heat stroke is very, very real. Um, even people down here suffer from heat stroke during the summertime sometimes. So North Georgia mountains is elevated. It's in Appalachia. So um, because there's a lot of trees, you can find some cooler areas. It would still be hot, but it would not be as hot as Florida. Also in the North Georgia mountains, we have a lot of hiking trails beautiful beautiful hiking trails that are not a lot of that area isn't touched by humans when you get deep into the mountains it's really rustic um, as far as uh the places that we would stay i, I really want to be very specific about where we would stay um some places there's a lot of different uh, lodges up there for like Dahlonega especially has a lot of um, lodges specifically for wellness retreats up there. That area is kind of known to host wellness retreats. And some of them are extremely rustic, like meaning that there's no Wi-Fi connection, internet connection, all that kind of stuff. I would not want that for you guys. I would want you guys to have internet connection, to have Wi-Fi. Um, the reason being is that I know that some of you coming would be probably leaving your children at home. Um, and so I would want you to be able to get in touch with your children and your family at any point um, during your trip. I would not want your um, communication with your family, even if it's just five days or seven days, I would not want that to be severed. I would want you to be as comfortable as possible knowing you're leaving your family or your loved ones for that amount of time that you would be able to get in touch with them. Um, I also, as far as children, um, I was thinking a lot about that. 
if we do this wellness retreat, uh, just know it will be very um, adult themed as far as like some sessions and stuff like that. But if you wanted to bring your kids, that would be totally up to you. I'm not going to stop anybody from bringing their children. Um, when we have more of the details worked out about the wellness retreat, then you could probably make your decision whether you want your kids to come or not. Another uh, thought I had is um, transportation. So if we do this wellness retreat in the North Georgia mountains, the closest airport would most likely be Atlanta, especially if you're coming international, would probably be Atlanta. Now, Atlanta is about two and a half, three hours away from the North Georgia mountains. And so I would have to figure that out. I'll ask Cindy, because I know Cindy's from Sacred Garden has done a lot of these. And so I would bring her on as well. If, if, if transportation is something like shuttles, or something that's typically provided or if it's just up to the individual to figure out how they're going to get up there um you can rent a car that's another option is to rent a car now if you're coming from another country i would just double check to see the laws regarding your country's driver's license i don't think it's going to be that big of a deal especially if you're coming from like canada i don't think they really care if it's canadian um, i know for me in the united states if i were to fly to a different state and rent a car my georgia driver's license is totally fine and acceptable um, but some countries will require an international driver's license in order for you to rent a car in the united states i think again that depends on what country you're coming from so that would be something that i would recommend if you wanted to rent a car. Otherwise, let me know if that's a concern that you would have about getting from the airport to the um, center. Uh, the, the airport in Atlanta is South, South Atlanta, so you would have to actually drive through the city. You would take the connector, which is 7585 conjoined. It goes straight through the city up into the mountains. You then from there take 85 up into the mountains. There might be another airport that's closer in like Tennessee or North Carolina. The area that I want us to go is closer to the Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina conjunction, that will top area of Georgia. That's where I would like for us to go. But again, I got to check and see um, different price points for different um, wellness retreat centers. Also, I would definitely have um, my boyfriend who is a chef and I'd ask Angie to help prepare like three meals a day, vegan vegetarian me meals. But um, I want to be somewhere where you are close to stores. Um, for me personally, I have such an allergic reaction to a lot of foods that I, I have to have access to my own food. So I would make that available, hopefully to you guys to go into town to, to get groceries if you feel like you need to have your own food totally totally understandable what i'm thinking we would do as far as like the day is concerned like let's say we're up in the north georgia mountains i'd probably schedule like an early morning yoga practice or bar class with me and then some meditation then breakfast and then after that i'd give you guys some time to like shower and go back to your rooms and get ready and then we can schedule different activities during the day like um like going into town to experience the little towns in blue ridge and you know shop if you want to shop or just to have some downtime during the day for yourself we would schedule hiking trips during the day different types of trails there's rivers very clean water up there like i said a lot of this area is not really touched by humans it's very small towns so the rivers that run through that part of appalachia are very clean rivers um and so beautiful uh, swimming holes that we know of up there we can probably also go white water rafting one day if that's something that people want to do um if we do utilize a lot of the hiking trails and rivers i would definitely probably print off a guide for snakes because there are a lot a lot of poisonous snakes in um in georgia in in atlanta as well as up in the north georgia mountains of course they're more prevalent in the north georgia mountains as i when i was a child we had to learn little rhymes to remember poisonous snakes because it, there are quite a lot of them and so we would probably make you read through a guide first just to be aware of of snakes that are up there but nothing to be super concerned about we're up there all the time you know, in my experience, just going up there by myself, there's only been a couple of occasions where we've seen a really poisonous snake near us. And as long as we just don't bother it, it doesn't bother us. And so we would be um, 
keeping our eyes out as well for, for these. The real colorful snakes are usually the poisonous ones, and so they're pretty easy to spot. But but yeah, we would also do I I I know Emmy is interested in doing this, and so I would have like we would have like Reiki time where you could do group Reiki or individual Reiki sessions. I would have Cindy, if Cindy wanted to join to come in and do her on Usara based yoga with people. None of the, you know, for me, I would make the world's worst cult leader because I wouldn't require anybody to do anything. It would just be on the schedule and you can come to these classes if you want to. If you don't want to come, you don't have to. If you just want to come and hang out the whole week, that's fine as well. I would suggest taking advantage of the classes, but it's not going to be like a requirement that you come to every single class. You're an adult. You can do it. what works for you. Um, we can even have some like kind of group therapy. I don't want to call it that because none of us are therapists, but like Cindy is a healer and so is Emmy. And so we could even arrange some like group time to talk about different um, obstacles that are coming up in everybody's lives. And, and it would just be a really fun time to just meet everybody and get to hang out and socialize and laugh and have a, a grand old time. So anyway, let me know your thoughts. I would, I was thinking five day wellness retreat but then i was like maybe seven would be better if we have people coming in from long distances to really get settled in to um into to what they're doing and dealing with jet lag i know a lot of people from the united states probably just drive in from from wherever they they, they are coming from which would be awesome as well um so anyway just let me know your thoughts if that's something that you would be interested in um would five days work seven days work uh I, I wouldn't know price points until I actually have talked to the centers and kind of gauged what they would charge. And then I would just divide it up between all of us to figure out like what to charge so that we can pay for the center and all that kind of stuff. So I will let you guys know again, once I get back to Atlanta, I'll talk to Cindy and start to do some investigation into to the best uh, the best place to do something like this. So just let me know what y'all think because it would be so fun to do. I think it would just be so fun. I know like even in like near Clayton and like the North Georgia where I want to go, they even have like vineyards up there that you can go and like see how they make wine. You know, like I said, this would not be, again, a lot of wellness retreats are really rustic and it's very, you know, pure vegan food, water only. I'm not going to do it that way. If you if you want to have a rustic experience, that will be your choice. You can just turn your Wi-Fi off in your bedroom and and try just to eat the food that we serve would be all vegan and vegetarian food um, and, and try that for yourself. But I would not do that for everyone. So if you don't worry about that, if you don't want the rustic experience, if you want to be able to get on the Internet, like I said, and Zoom with your kids or you know have a glass of wine and go see how wine is made. You can do that as well. Like, again, you're an adult. This is your experience. So anyway, just let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about that. And um, I think I would just be most excited about hanging out with everybody and just getting to know getting to know you guys on a personal level and not just through YouTube or through signal groups or telegram groups, but like actually in person. That would be so super cool. Um, it, I would probably be the main host, but I would, again, ask. I'm going to talk to Angie, Cindy, Emmy, Catherine, Tamara, see who all wants to get involved with this as well. Um, yeah, so I am back in Atlanta in the next couple of days. So Monday, what's the date Monday? Let me see here. I don't know what the date is on Monday. Monday is the 23rd, Monday the 23rd, October 23rd, 2023. I will be back in Atlanta. So I will be with Aquarius Rising Africa at 10 o'clock eastern time on the 23rd on monday and there won't be a monday mystery on my channel that that monday but make sure you join us over on aquarius rising africa i have all of my research i just have not had a chance to film it yet from being sick and then traveling so i have monday mysteries ready to go but they just haven't been filmed yet but join us on monday with aquarius rising africa and yeah i've got so many i've got all these new guests that i'm reaching out to as well for different topics that we want i want to explore on this channel a lot of more deep dives i want to get into so yeah i hope you guys are having a wonderful 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 october and i will talk to you all soon bye everybody